Does anybody ever not support you? Oh, yeah. Oh, You're yeah, kidding. Yeah. Oh, people call the cops, lie on us all the time. Why? Say we're in people's face, harassing people, being disorderly. Why? Who would want to do that? You know what? If you Who can... would not want to defend the United States of America and our rights and the Constitution? Who would not want to do that? How's it going, guys? I'm against it, Press, and we are coming to you today from Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, we are at the U.S. Post Office here in Lafayette, and we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with Watching a Watchman today. And uh, let me give you a little quick look at the neighborhood here. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, October 13th. It is 2.33 in the afternoon. And it is 87 degrees, partly cloudy or partly sunny, depending on how you look at those things, uh, in Lafayette, Louisiana. Hey, Megan out there watching. What's up? What's happening? I see friendly people in Louisiana waving at us. That, that's, that is brilliant. Mom and her daughter in this suburban that just drove by waving at us with big smiles on their faces, waving at the camera. I, I don't want to be uh, egotistical here. They weren't waving at me. They were waving at the camera, but that's cool in all seriousness. That's very cool. YouTube. Yes, sir. I watch y'all. Y'all do like First Amendment audits. We stuff. do, yeah. Guilty as charged. Is it Amistant? Am against Am Impress. Am against Impress. Yeah. Oh, is, I didn't. Dang, when I saw you, I'm like, hey, those guys look familiar. Yeah, no, pleasure to meet you, man. Y'all doing a video right now? Oh. Oh, welcome to Lafayette. Yeah, I don't know. Did y'all yeah, yeah. did y'all stop? Like, this is the first city y'all stopped in in, in uh, Louisiana. In Louisiana, or? yes, sir. Yes, oh my is. God. Yeah. Well, yeah, good. Yeah, Lafayette. I like Lafayette. I'm from Baton Rouge, though. That's oh, like yeah. an hour away, but. It's good seeing y'all. Yeah, right on. Same here, man. We appreciate the support. Thank you. Right, no Have a good problem. day. Yes, sir, y'all. So as you guys can see, no signs here about anything to do with restricted, no trespassing. Do not enter. Uh, anything. The only thing it says is there's one sign here that says tollway zone, authorized vehicles only. So here's the back of the post office. Pretty small post office. You're not hot? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's warm. It's man. the humidity. It's humidity. disgusting. The desert is where it's at. It's remarkable because it's like 87, 88 degrees, and it feels hot and disgusting out. And uh, when you're in the desert, it's 100 degrees, and it doesn't feel this hot. Where was I? I forget where we were. We went in the pool somewhere. We were uh -huh. in the desert somewhere. And you get out and you're literally, I'm not even exaggerating, within 10 minutes your bathing suit's bone dry. Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. In Texas, when it was just about this humid, we went swimming somewhere. 
hung my bathing suit up, got up the next morning and it was still wet. Yeah. I'm gonna have to use my debit card to buy a stamp. It's funny, any of you guys notice how uh, not even that many years ago, just a couple of years ago, if you tried to use your debit card for anything under, let's say, 10 bucks, uh, they'd either try to charge you some kind of a 3% fee or refuse the sale uh, under $10. Seemed to be the popular number. Uh, but these days, you can literally go in anywhere and charge 50 cents and nobody bats an eyelash. So, kind of strange. Kind of strange how that changed so fast. I mean, people were adamant about that. People, they would blow the sale for $8 if you didn't buy one more thing. Yeah. Now I'll go in here and 55 cents, nobody cares. 58 cents. Yeah. And you know, that brings up a good point, guys. People will say, why don't you guys put out more videos? More videos, video every day. You got to realize that uh, if, if we went out and intentionally tried to instigate responses and tried to get people upset and did that kind of thing, we'd be able to give you a lot more content. Uh, but we don't do that. We go out and there's days that just we go to numerous places and nothing happens and everybody's fine, uh, which is good news. I mean, great stuff, but nothing anybody's going to watch on YouTube. Yeah. Um, you know, we do put up our good audits a lot of times, but some of them are just, quite frankly, so boring that nobody would watch them. And you know what? That's absolutely uh, the end result goal, I would say. Boring audits. One day. Yeah. One day that will be the uh, the way it goes, I hope. But yeah, no, when you let these things happen the way they do, you just, you know, it's not nonstop action like people would think. You might see a half hour video that we put up and it could have taken us four hours to get that video. So, uh, you know, we strive to provide you with the best content possible, not uh, the most amount of videos in a week. How are we doing? Did y'all come to take my picture? We did. Guilty as charged. We were looking for the prettiest woman in Lafayette. We found her. I'm here. There you go. What are y'all doing, really? Oh, uh, we're just get, right now getting some shade. Oh, good. Trying to stay under the shade here. I was born right there. Were you? Yeah, in cool. Corpus, and my grandmother lived there. Yeah, we were just there not too long ago. Well, good. Yeah. Well, you have a wonderful day. Okay, you too. All I hope y'all get everything you need. Thank you. So I want to point out that the uh, girl in the blue yoga pants there was ready to have a fit. Did yeah. you see her face? Yeah. And as soon as this nice lady said, well, you guys get everything you need. Hope you have a good day. All of a sudden, she smiled and yeah. went inside. Yeah. So uh, your attitude is contagious. And before you go starting wildfires, you better think about what the consequences are and... Uh, you know, even if you're not legally responsible for the mess you cause, you might be morally responsible. That's where I was going before. Don't lie about people. If you see something that upsets you, you got to think. If you need to start lying about what's going on, maybe it shouldn't be upsetting you. You know? Yeah. If you need to start embellishing the story, because people will do that. Instead of going inside and saying, not anybody here today, but instead of going inside and saying, oh, why are there people outside taking photographs they'll go in and say you know there's two people out there taking photographs getting right in people's faces harassing everybody yeah. never happened yeah. so be careful what you say man things come back to you in strange ways if you see something that you think for some reason you need to call the police about and alert them to be deadly accurate extremely accurate don't make things up because the other thing you got to think about is is you are also putting the law enforcement officers that you're calling in jeopardy if you're giving them bad information they could be showing up hot to something thinking there's something going on that's not and wind up putting themselves in a bad situation or the person that got called or yourself you know i'm sure plenty of people have called and uh when they show up get mistaken for the person that was called on yeah. you know so be careful what you say be accurate tell the truth See, that's, it's the same thing. Like, people will go in there and say, what are those guys doing out there? They're harassing people. Like, this lady in this car, the nice lady that was having a chat with us will probably go in there and say, oh, they're not bothering anybody. They're just out there taking some pictures, getting some shade. And then the employees will go, oh, okay. Yeah. It's really amazing. You know, you think you have no influence over people. Each and every one of you watching this video, you got a lot of pull in this world. Be careful how you use it. Okay, what are y'all here to do? Sorry? What are y'all really here taking pictures of? 
I'll tell you what we're doing because you're such a nice person. Oh, okay. You've earned my respect. All right. I, you know, and I return what I'm giving. Yeah, I'm I'll just curious. I'll even smile for you. I'm just curious. No, so what we're doing is, this is my son. Okay. My name's Jason. Hey, I'm Cassie. Nice yeah. to meet you, Kathy. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet a normal person in this world these days, I'll tell yeah, you Yeah, no kidding. So I what know. we're doing, we've been traveling, we just turned 51,000 road miles in the past two years, traveling the country defending our Constitution. That's what we do. Awesome! So what this is, is an exercise of our right to be out in public in a place we're lawfully allowed to be, Yeah. taking video and photographs. And we're doing That's it as a awesome. test to see if anybody will try to violate our rights. Well, you need to tell them what you're doing, and then you'll see. I or tell no. certain people what I'm doing. Well, you earned it. Yeah, but what some I'm, people are. I think silence. that's awesome. Are you yeah, kidding? It is. Well, I'm all for it. You know what? I'll tell you. A lot of people have this look of disgust on their face when they see us out here doing what we do, uh -huh. and when they approach us and ask us what we're doing, and we explain ourselves to them, all of a sudden their shoulders drop. They're we support you, right yeah. on. Yeah. So you know. Does anybody ever not support you? Oh yeah. You're oh, yeah, kidding. Yeah. Oh, people call the cops, lie on us all the time. Why? Say we're in people's face, harassing people, being disorderly. Why? Who would want to do that? You know what? If you who can... would not want to defend the United States of America and our rights, and the Constitution? Who would not want to do that? Not well, not a real American. A lot of people. That's unbelievable. Yeah, to the me. people have their wires crossed these days in a lot of ways. Oh, I agree with you. Yeah. It's bad. But I'm glad to see it hasn't affected you. No, I'm a positive person. Good. When you went inside, I said just on based on that young lady's behavior, I bet you when she goes home, she's a very happy, normal person yeah. that has healthy relationships with her family and friends. That's pretty much true. Yeah, but other people tell us a different story about themselves sometimes. Oh. Um, I think human behavior is fascinating. Yeah, it is. With. It really it is. is. Well, good for y'all. Yeah. I don't know. No, well, do good, good for you. Do y'all want to take a donation or anything? No, that's okay. You, you know sure? what? Your, your smile and your attitude is donation enough. My goal is to hope that one day all my encounters when I'm out taking video in public are this way. Well, good. And that's payment enough for me. Yeah, good. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm that's... proud of y'all. No, I'm... So how long y'all staying here? In Lafayette? Yeah. A few days. Yeah. yeah. And then where do you go next? Uh, well, good. Yeah. Well, good luck, guys. Y'all want me to go buy you a drink or something and bring it back? You know what I'm telling you? Burger? And I really hope you understand what I mean here. Well, Your attitude and the way okay. you're is, I haven't got that much payment in months. Wow. I really appreciate that. Well, I really do. You're giving very me the inspiration welcome. to keep doing what I'm doing. Good. And you've given me I would be happy to go pick up a treat for y'all if I you know want you something. Will. Thank you so much. I appreciate okay, that. Okay. Well, but God you have a wonderful you. day. And spread okay. your smile far and wide. <laughs> I will. Yeah. <laughs> I am a happy person. Good. Good for you. You made me a happy person good. today. Thank you. Well, I like y'all smiles too. Keep doing what you do. Thank you so much. All right. That's a wrap. Time to go home and wake up in bed <laughs> so I don't fall down and hit my head on the sidewalk. That's great. It's so nice to meet somebody who's like that. That's, it's really, it's awesome. And the younger people watching these uh, videos, watching these audits, you don't remember when everybody used to be like that. I'm not saying we lived in some perfect utopia. I'm not trying to make it out like it was a paradise. You know, the world always had its problems, but uh, these, uh, these days it's a little something special. How you Good, how you doing? Oh, maybe it really is friendlier down south. That I don't know. It's too hot to get aggravated. I won't be long in y'all's way. Oh, no, not at all. Thank you. Take your time. It's too hot to be in a hurry these days. <laughs> oh, we've got a Lafayette Marshall. Shade spot. God. Unbelievable. I'm like squeeze in here and stand like a penguin with my feet sideways. <laughs> Get in the shade. Doing? Stay in the shade. It's getting smaller and smaller, man. Uh -huh. Yeah. It'll run you off. It'll run me off. Yeah, it'll take more than a little sunlight to run me off. You guys have stolen some more shade? Hey man, what are y'all, what is this? What are y'all doing? Sorry? Your video? 
Okay. Like video? Yeah, what is all that flinching about? Well, I don't know. You tried, right? I'll give you that. What are, you, what are they going to uh, We're surveying for energy. That main oh, transmission gotcha. line. Gotcha. They got a 99 year lease coming up. It's been in there since 99 years, so it's basically we flew it with drones, mapped everything out right here. Now we're on the ground. No just picking up any kind of utilities, Atmos, uh, telephone, anything. So there's no work going on. They're just no, 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 no. no. This is just is. a remap. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, cool. Because I'm sure when this was laid, the majority of this stuff wasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is going over people's houses and everything. 100 years ago, yeah. Oh, for this sure. is by. by yeah. But. Yeah, nine, 99 year lease sounds good until it's 100 years later, right? That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you guys have a good day. Appreciate yes, you, man. Yes, Thank you. Yeah, that is true. You make, you make a good point there. Yeah, afterwards, I guess. Okay, y'all have to tell us what y'all doing. I'm sorry? Y'all have to tell us what y'all are doing. Oh, coming in to buy a stamp and document my purchase? <laughs> How you doing today? Good, you can come on out. Feels guys. a lot better in here in the AC, I'll yeah, tell you that. Right? I was trying to get the shade outside, but it kept getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> running away from me. So just one stamp? Yes, please. How's the world treating you today, Sherry? Very good. Good, that's what we like to hear. How about y'all? Very good, as far as I know, I always like to throw in there. Because <laughs> these days, who knows? Right? And that's all for you? That's it. 58 cents. Okay. You ready for me? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. And can I get a printed receipt with that as well, sure please? Can. Thank you. Oh man, it feels good in here. I better not get too used to it. <laughs> not if you have to stay out there. No. Yeah, yeah. And I'll print out a receipt for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. You do the same. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bye bye. All right, so give you a quick look around here. This is an older post office. Maybe it was built when that lease was signed. Um, something I appreciate, which is very cool, are these older mailboxes. You can see these have like a newer number style on them. Uh, but some of them, like these, still have the old hand-painted numbers, which is really cool. Somebody actually had to go through and paint every one of those things by hand with a paintbrush. And uh, for those of you that have been following us for a while, you know that's what I used to do. I had a sign business for a while, and I used to specialize in hand-painted murals and uh, lettering. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll get back into that. But pretty cool. I think this is great. I think uh, it's very easy for people to tear down old stuff and put up something cheap and brand new that looks like a million bucks. But uh, there's some history in old buildings like this. I think it's very cool. And uh, kudos to the ladies in the back there not giving us a problem about checking it out. So this particular building was dedicated to public service in 1964. Lyndon B. Johnson was the president, and John Granuski, I think I'm pronouncing it right, was the uh, postmaster at the time. Oh, thank you so much. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Um, interesting experience here today. Um, I know uh, a lot of you like it better when there's drama and excitement and all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, police called and that sort of ridiculousness, but these are actually my favorite audits. I love it when it goes this way um, Got to have a nice conversation with uh, one or two people and uh, Employees inside were great smiling great moods and uh, Nothing to complain about here. So 100% a pass here at the uh, oil center station of the Lafayette, Louisiana uh, US Post Office. Well, I hope you guys appreciate it when these video when these audits go well uh, that is the goal. That's what we're looking for. That's the end result we're hoping for. And that's the world we want to live in. So uh, I think these are fantastic. And uh, gives me the inspiration to keep rocking on. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, always like to remind you guys, if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do and you want to support what we do, 
Best way for you to do that, hands down, is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. I know me and the Watchmen are out here getting an education every day uh, and uh, enjoying life. So we hope you're doing the same. I also invite you to do the same for his channel. Uh, if you're so inclined, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but that's it. So I guess we're going to hop back in the truck, head down the road, and see what else the area here has to offer us. So for now, coming to you from the U.S. Post Office, Oil Center Station in Lafayette, Louisiana, Watching the Watchmen. Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.